Okay, let's talk about JRA, Juvenile Rheumatoid Arthritis. So, how to know it when you see it? You have a triad of spiking fever, high fever more than 104 degrees Fahrenheit, and it has unknown etiology of this fever. Number two is a salmon colored rash of the chest and the abdomen. The salmon colored rash is often like occurs at the same time of the spiking fever. And number three are joint symptoms. So here on the picture you have number one, the fever, number two, the salmon rash, number three, the joint symptoms. You may have other symptoms as pericardial effusion. So we can like draw a heart right now here. So that's pericardial effusion. And also you can have splenomegaly. So let's draw the spleen here. So that's symptoms that cannot be seen. There is no clear diagnostic test. It is a clinical diagnosis. And the, you will have also anemia, hypoalbuminemia, leukocytosis, and increase in ferritin. So, two things are decreased and two other things are increased. Decreased red blood cell, decreased albumin, increased white blood cells, and increased ferritin. The ANA or anti nuclear antibodies will be normal, it will not be positive test, it will be negative. How to treat juvenile rheumatoid arthritis? Also, we have a triad. So, we start with non steroidals and then we add steroids because it's a systemic problem. And if it's severe, you can use the anti TNF or tumor necrosis factor drugs. So, to recap juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, you have a triad of spiking fever, salmon colored rash in the chest and abdomen, joint symptoms. You may have others like pericardial effusion and splenomegaly. There is no clear diagnostic test. The lab will show decreased red blood cells, decreased albumin, increased white blood cells, increased ferritin. The ANA is normal. Treatment and safe steroid anti TNF drugs. That's it. Thank you.